In this video, we're going to show that the OLS estimator for beta 1 is unbiased, which means that when we take its expected value, that is equal to the true value of the parameter. And the way to proceed is as follows. So first, we're going to grab the formula for our beta 1 hat, and we're going to simplify this slightly. So what we're going to do is we're going to distribute this term here and here, and then we're going to distribute the summation to see what we get. So this is going to be the first term, it's just going to be the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times yi. And then we're going to have minus, because of this minus right here, the summation from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times y bar. And all of this has to be divided by the sum of squares of x. Now, notice one thing is that here we can simplify this a little bit. Right? So this is just, notice that the y bar does not depend on i. This is exactly the same number in each term of this summation. So we can just pull it out. This is like every term in the summation being multiplied by the number 3. We can do just like pull it out and sum all the other stuff. Right? So this is just going to be equal to just this term. Okay, This is going to be equal to y bar times the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar. And now notice one thing is that the sum of deviations of x from its mean, it's always equal to 0. And this is because let's just distribute the summation here and here, and we're going to see that. So this is just, this summation is going to be equal to the summation from i equals 1 to n of xi minus the summation from i equals 1 to n of x bar. Now we know that the sum of x is equal to n x bar, right? Because remember that, let me just write it here, that x bar is defined as the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi divided by n. So you can just bring this n to this side and the sum, sum of x is just going to be equal to n x bar. And what do we have here? So here we're summing x bar plus x bar plus x bar plus x bar n times. So it's just going to be n times x bar, right? So we have n times x bar minus n times x bar. So all of this is equal to zero. So all of this term is equal to zero, which simplifies our formula for the beta one hat a little bit. And we're going to have this sum of squares of x. Now what we're going to do, all that we have to remember is that yi is just given by the linear regression, right? It's just beta naught plus beta 1 times xi plus ui. So all we have to do now is just, we just plug in this formula that we have here into this y. So let's see what we find. Yeah. So it's going to be beta 1 hat is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times beta naught plus beta 1 xi plus ui and all of this is to be divided by the sum of squares of x now what we're going to do is something very similar to what we did before let's just grab this term right here and distribute it across each of these terms here so this is going to look a little you know, annoying, but it's actually very simple. So we're going to have the sum from i equals 1 to n of, let's open a big bracket. That's going to be xi minus x bar times beta naught. Then we're going to have plus beta 1, the sum, no, no sum. Yeah. So xi minus x bar times xi. And then we're going to have plus xi minus x bar times ui. Now all of this divided by the sum of squares of x. And now what we do, we do the same thing that we did before. Let's just distribute this summation across each of these terms and see what we find. So this is going to be the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times beta naught plus 
beta 1, the sum of xi minus x bar times xi plus the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times ui. And all of this we have to divide by the sum of squares of x. Now notice a few things. So let's just look a little bit at this term right here. So here, note that again, beta naught is just a number that is the same number in each term of this summation. So we can just pull it out of the summation. So this is going to be beta naught times the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar. But we already saw that the sum of xi minus x bar equals 0, right? Like we showed this right here, right? So all of this is going to be equal to 0. So all this term disappears. Then let's, let's move a little bit forward. So just for, for clarity, let me just write down this denominator in each term separately. So I'm going to write it here and then here. So we're going to have that beta 1 hat is equal to beta 1 times the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times xi all divided by the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar squared. And then we're going to have plus, what are we missing? Let me see. We're going to have the sum of xi minus x bar times ui. And all of this divided by the sum of squares of x. Now note something similar to what we had in the beginning where we wrote this xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar. We could simplify it to just xi minus x bar. We can apply something very, very similar here. We can actually note that this can be written as the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times xi minus x bar, right? Because it's just xi minus x bar squared. And if we distribute this here and here, and we operate a little bit, we're going to see that all of this is just equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times xi. So here, the numerator and the denominator are the same thing. So all of this is equal to 1, you see? So here, this denominator would get cancelled out with this numerator, and we will have that beta 1 hat is just equal to beta 1 plus... So does everyone see this? Like The sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times ui divided by the sum of squares of x. And this is where we have to apply our expectation operator and the law of iterated expectations. So now all that we have to do is remember the law of iterated expectations, which says the following is the expected value of beta one hat is just equal to the expected value over the density of x of the expected value of beta one given x. So all that we have to do is just, just take the expectation of this conditional on x, operate a little bit, and then get the expectation of whichever number we find. So let's just do it, right? So remember, the expected value of beta 1 hat is just going to be the expected value of everything that we had before, right? It's just beta 1 plus the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times ui divided by the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar squared. Now if we operate a little bit we know that we can distribute the expectation over the summation so this is going to be the expected value of beta 1 plus the expected value of all of this.
which is the sum of squares of x. Now we know that the expected value of any just a number is just that number, right? Like the expected value of three is just three. There no mystery here. So now that we have that the expected value of beta one hat is just beta one plus something. So what we want to show is that this something is zero. However, we can't just like plug in the expectation at the UI and get everything that we want, right? That is something that students are tempted to do. But here we have to apply the law of iterated expectations that we have right here. So we can take the expectation of this conditional on X and then take the expectation of that to get the expectation of all of this. So this is just gonna be equal to beta one plus the expected value, open big bracket, of the expected value of all of this conditional on X. So it's gonna be sama equals one to N of XI minus X bar times UI. And all of this divided by sum of xi minus x bar squared, conditional on x. So here I like to proceed by steps, you know, so as to not lose focus of what we're doing. So given that we're conditioning on x here, we can just extract this uh, sum of squared residuals, uh, squared sum of squares of x that is multiplying everything. So each of these terms of the summation is multiplied by one over this, you know, so we can just do, this is gonna be beta one time plus the expectation over the density of x of one over all of this. Times, and then I'm gonna have the expected value of all of this summation conditional on x. Now notice that here we can, this is a, the expectation of a summation of things, this is just going to be the, the summation of the expectations. You see? So now all of this is going to be equal to beta 1 plus expected value over the density of x, big bracket, 1 over the sum of squares of x. And then we're going to have times the summation, since we distribute the expectation over the summation, we're going to have the expectation of xi minus x bar times ui, all of it conditional on x. Now what we can do is similarly to, to what we did before, since we're conditioning on x, we can treat everything here that is not x as a constant thing. So this xi minus x bar, I can pull it out of the expectation each term inside of this summation. So this is going to be And then I'm going to have the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times the expected value of ui given x. And this we know that the fundamental OLS assumption is that the expected value of the error term conditional on the x's is zero. So this is equal to zero. So each term in this summation is going to be equal to zero, right? So each term of this summation is going to be equal to zero. So I'm summing up a whole bunch of zeros. So this is all, all this summation is going to be equal to zero. So I'm multiplying one over something times zero. So all of this is zero. So then I'm taking the expected value of zero, which is just zero. So this is all going to be, this is go over here. So this is all going to be zero. So what we just showed is that the expected value of beta one hat is equal to beta one.